Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us try to solve this interesting example. What is the circumference of the below circle given that AB is the diameter and the XY is perpendicular to AB. So we have a circle. We have been given that AB is the diameter and XY is perpendicular to AB. We have to find out the circumference of below circle. So let's understand what is given to us. We know AB is diameter. So let us say AB equal to 2 times of R. And what is that we have to find out circumference which is equal to 2 pi R. So if I know AB then automatically we know circumference equal to 2R into pi. Now we have to find out 2R. Okay. Now given to us AB is the diameter and XY is perpendicular to AB. So can I go ahead and just put down a 90 degrees angle here for our understanding. XY is perpendicular to AB. Also we know that AB is diameter then we know angle in semicircle is right angle. That means if I join A to Y then we know that in triangle AYB angle Y is also equal to 90 degrees. Then we have to find out the radius given to us two sides of a right angle triangle so we can easily find out the third side. Then we will use similar triangles concept to find out the diameter then multiply with pi 2 pi r that is also equal to pi into d pi into diameter d okay now we will consider two triangles which are similar to each other we'll write down in triangles now these two triangles are similar because they have the same angle that is common angle B and they both have 90 degrees one is at X another is at Y if you take the small triangle uh, triangle B X Y and the other triangle is B Y A now these two triangles how they are similar to each other we will write down angle X B Y is equal to angle Y B a. Now that is common angle. That is a common angle to both the triangles. What else we have? We have angle B X Y is equal to angle B Y A. We know that is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, triangle B X Y is similar to triangle PYA. Now once we know these two triangles are similar to each other, we can write down the corresponding sides which are in proportion that is BX divided by 1 2 divided by 1 2 BX by BY equal to 2 3 divided by 2 3 that is XY divided by YA is equal to 3 1 divided by 3 1 that is YB by AB or BY divided by AB. Now what we need to find out? We need to find out AB. So this is what we need. So we will consider first and last. Shall we write down that again? What we have? BX divided by BY is equal to by divided by ab let us substitute the values we know bx is 3 and by we have to find out we can use pythagoras theorem on that and we can find out that it is equal to root of 34 then bx by by 3 by root 34 equal to by that is root 34 divided by ab so that gives us that 3AB equal to 34 or AB equal to 34 divided by 3. What we need is 
AB into pi. So our answer will be 34 by 3 into pi. 2 pi r is nothing but equal to pi into diameter. We got diameter equal to 34 by 3. So circumference will be equal to 2 pi r or 34 by 3 into pi is our final answer. Let's have a recap of this. We have been given a circle in which Bx is perpendicular to xy or AB is perpendicular to xy. AB is the diameter. Bx is 3 and xy is 5. By Pythagoras theorem we know By is root 34. We have to find out the circumference of the circle. Now we see two similar triangles here which both are having common angle B and both of them have 90 degrees. So we have written those two triangles how they are similar to each other by a, a similarity criteria. Then when you write down the corresponding sides which are in proportion we get Bx into AB equal to By square. We know Bx, we know Xy. Easily by Pythagoras theorem we can find out By. Then we know AB equal to 34 by 3. What we need is AB into R, AB into pi that is pi into diameter circumference. So which is equal to 34 by 3 into pi.